I am Reverend Father Jeremiah Benjamin Ilimi, the parish priest of St. Stephen Catholic Church, Gawube, and the dean of Lubedinari, Archdiocese of Abuja. What gives me courage to accept this place is I, I love the church and I love the Archdiocese of Abuja. And I, I'm a student of history. You want to work in a big parish? Yes. How can we lay a good foundation so that we have more than one Maitama in Abuja Archdiocese? We have the opportunity. So I've been offered the opportunity to come and work here. I accepted to say, okay, if those who had worked before me never accepted their postings, my tema would not be my tema today. The first person that laid the first block there wouldn't have done it. Because he would sit down and say, this is a bush. When you lay the foundation and think about the church of the future, the metema of tomorrow, which I was coming to be a part of. So I was very happy to be a part of history, so that when they are measuring the history of this place, perhaps during the era of our children's children, we would have returned home to meet our makers. I would have gone home to, to meet my maker. Our children would come and give the story. My name would be here as one of those who laid a proper foundation for this place to become the Maitama that has become. In the heart of Abuja, the federal capital of Nigeria, lies a town called Gaobi. Nestled within its borders is St. Stephen the Matthias Parish, led by Reverend Father Jeremiah Ilimi, a devoted Catholic priest. But beneath the serene surface, a storm of insecurity has engulfed the town, leaving Father Ilimi homeless and desperate for shelter. The once vibrant town that was built upon generations of families and peaceful coexistence has been struck by a cruel fate. Villagers and parishioners have been forced to desert their ancestral homes, leaving churches locked and abandoned. And amidst the chaos, Reverend Father Ilimi stands heartbroken like a shepherd whose sheep have been savagely attacked. There are several reasons why Father Ilimi cannot find solace in Gaobi. One of them being the location of his home, tucked away in the outskirts of Gaobi, behind a dense bush, his residence becomes a pathway for bandits and kidnappers who traverse the area with their victims. Father Jeremiah Ilimi explains that the parish house in Galbi is camouflaged within the thick forest, making it appear inconspicuous. This clever disguise might be the reason the bandits have not realized its true purpose as the residence of a prominent figure like him. The, the location of the house has been a challenge. Where I stay, located 300 meters before the village. And so the house stands alone. By implication, you know that in a place where there's insecurity, on a good day, maybe someone ought to stay in the community where if you cry, people will hear you cry and come for your safety or come for your defense. And unfortunately, the church was looking for a big land. So we had to acquire this piece of land away from the community, hoping that with time, development would move. But the development is yet to move to where the father's house is. And so because of that, you sleep in the night, you wake up at night around 11, you don't sleep again till daybreak, thinking. And within those times, you hear gunshots at intervals. Uh, on, on a few occasions, they have kidnapped people in the night. And because of where the house is located, they, it is located around the roots to the bandits, where they pass to go for the operations. And when they come back, they, they pass with their victims, almost behind my window. And sometimes when they pass, they flash lights to know what is there. The source of my safety would have been the house does not look like a house. So to some extent, they would have presumed that this looks like a poultry. If it was to be like a house that looks like father's house, probably they would have entered one day. But since it does not look like a house, they would presume it is a farm and pass to go their way. Galbi, 
a land blessed with fertile soil, was once a thriving agricultural hub. The villagers prided themselves as a major food crop producers within the FCT. However, the relentless security challenges inflicted a severe blow to farming activities. Yonzuhaka, Geska Aluma na Jamadina on the Suna Wanangari Ba on the Ike Ikonchia the Idanusa Akule and Zuhakaba. Sabada Ura de Dama Wanangaringa Ubi Maganan Churu Geska Muna the Matala Gaman the Maganan Churu Mu Jamadina Bamu Wadata Bamu Ibucha Akonchia Hankali. Guanama, Jaguanama, Ba, Concha Hankali, Mutinze, Jaguana, Zabi Mutunzuaguana, Aja Dukeshi, De Yara, Da Mata, One Locuta Zashi Gagida Ji, De De Dili, Aza Quashi Mutani, According to the Dana Kirababu, the Kumaya Loa, to Wura Renang, Harim Mutani, Nan Jamanga Renanda. Basaraki on the Suna Wana Guru Sutasha Wana Guri Suna Chicken Garinga Obe Wodu Suma Suna Akuji to Ama Ari Haruo Yo Bamusamuso King Alamaramba Indire Aimu de Kemu Mukomu Bomba Saraki Mabamu Bechiba Mona Pitani Muna I Garden de 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 to a lokacin da ne hankalin mutane zai fara tashi ni mana cikin na ina gadin man na suke gari ba wani sana sai numa in ka je in ka shigo gona yanzu sai ka je ka gani filana sun gaga muka da amfanin gona domin ba zaman gida yanzu da nisa da zaka fito ka je gona sai ka je ka gani an yi maka barna ta ba mu sani inda za a yi ba the chief of Gabi recounts his harrowing encounters with the bandits and the countless victims he has observed. He narrates how the bandits operate unchecked, free from any interference, as the villages are situated far from the reach of security forces. And when victims manage to escape, the bandits send messages to the villagers demanding ransom or threatening deadly consequences. Gero nda na kila pavu wanda ngulu na aka jaka kwa shi muta na kudabiu wanda aka kisu chikindaji se har ainda gesikia da roko alla kapi suka zumu suka pada kuda do nda za abasu wanda kapi asa kia wada na muta ni haka na kumaka kia musu kudi anka shi muta ni guda guda uku ma da kin garin da kuma mata sa wanda sun kai ga karfin su wanda aka kashe su live akwai gari wanda ana kira dibe kuma da kabasha an kwashe mutane da dama wurin a ko wanda ma aka ja kan yanka su kamar yanda ana yanka da ba a cikin kurmi a ko wanda ma an bida gawan su ba gan gawan su ba sai da aka biya hankali a ko wanda an zo an ganga wakin su a ko wanda ba ganga wakin su ba har wa yau the experience has not been too wonderful particularly in the house stations there are parishioners who have found a call to pay ransom even before the kidnapping they they have they have gathered money to to like ransom themselves at ahead of the adoption so the kidnappers will not come and adopt them and they settle with them and say don't come and there have been people who have also told their story called their story one of my outstations, that is uh, precisely Kevin Mangro. They kidnapped three persons. The persons escaped from the hands of the bandits. The kidnappers placed a call and said, we do not know them, but we know where we kidnapped them from. And they ran away without paying what we asked them to pay. And so, if you do not pay the money, we will come and kill all of you. So the pensioners had to gather three million to go and pay for their people who were no longer there. Even after they kidnapped the three persons who escaped from the hands of the bandits, they placed a call to the community. Tell them that we do not know who they are, but we know where we picked them from. And they ran away without paying the money. If you do not pay the money, we will come and kill all of you. The people had to tax themselves to raise three million to go and pay the bandits. Even though the victims have already escaped. So they are not paying for ransom, they say. 
or they are paying advance for what will happen should they fail to settle the bandits. And these things are happening simply because the location of these outstations is far away from where you imagine that the uh, military will be there. A watan hudu kana nan a cikin gida na da dare sai na ji mutane sun shigo gida na kana ta harbi ne kawai sai aka bude min kofa an shiga daki na an ce to in tashi mu je na ce ina za mu je an ce in tashi mu je bayan da na tashi sai aka dora mun hannu daga dora hannu aka fito da ni waje da yara na guda biyu an ce to in zona nan na zona da yara na sai suka shiga wani gida kuma suka fito da mutane kuma sun zo sun kara mun suka shiga gidaje har da dama suka kwashe mu mu goma sha uku cikin dare muka yi tafiya har zuwa jeji inda muka kai cikin jeji gari na wayewa sai suka numa guri suka boye mu da suka boye mu sun dora mu a hannu da yi danu ba mu gani wuri daga safe zuwa yamma cikin yamman sai suka doce mu kuma sai tafiya da muka yi tafiya haru 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 mu yi tafiya cikin dar har gari ya waye suka sace boye mu zuwa yamma kuma suka kwashe mu kuma mu yi tafiya har gari ya waye kuma suka boye mu kuma cikin shekara uku kenan da muka je gona naje aiki na cikin gona a ko wasu yaran da sun je ta mako na naje betsa magani a gona sai muka tashi mun je ina kan aiki kawai yanki na fi sun zo sun hada mun sun doke ni tare da yaran sun dutuke ni ya ce musa lafiya sun ce gaskiya su tuntuni suna numa na a gidana ba sun sun zo ba su gane da gidana amma yau Allah ya sa na shiga hannunsu suna ta duka nan suna kuka yaran suna taya ni kuka sun ce musu su yi hakuri me ya faru sun ce ban na da kudi ban na ce musu ban da kudi shanun da ina shi ina da shi guda biyu fa na ce musu an ba ni kiwo su yi hakuri da kaman na da kudi ba zan sake zo wannan tsone ina wahala kan wannan tsone haka ba su ce ina aka muka tashi su yi awun gaba da mu mun je mu yi zama cikin daji sun fara ce a kau musu kudi sun kama wasu mun je mu same su a wurin to ranan da an ce a kau musu abinci an je musu da abinci da kudin da an rage musu kaman an je an ba su kudi da sauran kudin da ya rage shi mai mashin da ya zo okadan din sun rike shi a mamakon wanda ya su sake shi san kara saka musu wannan kudin kamin musu sake mu mun yi tafiya kwana bakwai suka kai mu can koji muna can koji muna nan ganiwa ga ruwan sama ga soro ba ruguna sanyi sun ce to kowa ya karbe biyarin kansa sun ce to duka mu kowa zai kawo miliyan daya 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 cikin mu 13 ya zama miliyan 13 daga gurin nan suka kwa sun kwashe mu kuma muna kara gaba a kowan dan uwa mu wanda ya gaji da tafiya sun kashe shi mun rage mu 12 to muna nan sai muka kira gida ga abin da sun ce mu ba su to ana kai ni ma ana kai ni ma mun ce an ce to an samu miliyan 6 sun ce Allah ki yayi ba ka ji ba ne sai dai an samu 13 din to ana kai ni ma ana kai ni ma sai Allah yayi yukon sa ya turo bawan sa cikin jeji din sai suka shiga da harbi sai suka gudu mu ma wanda suka shigo din nan sun dauke mu zuwa gida gurin ne mun samu sauki dawowa another one that happened recently that's the last one that happened so when they when they came they now kidnap them they kidnap them in the bush when they went for for farming so what they has informed that given to them that some people are there in the farm so they should take them so they now took them to the bush they were there asking for ransom 
asking for ransom. Unfortunately, they pay, but they couldn't pay what they were asking for. So when it reached, then uh, vigilantes and hunters entered them. From there, they now saw that the streets, they were exchanging guns with the hunters and the, and the vigilantes. So one man was shot on his own shoulder. They were trying to escape. So unfortunately, the, the, the bullet went to his shoulder. They could have gotten through the chest or anywhere else. Mutanum Alasa and the Akaji de Ona Bonhaka, young Su Hunter. I send the moon coming on the Mukatasha room. We take Pia Sakan Shad there, Narana, Mukaurum, Karpeshida. The Kamu Saskatcher to Mutashi Mujerapi Mujerapi and Rena Ayrua. I share so hunt and then soon and soon I be more about soon I be so uncomfortable. The Munjera Pimundao Monseki Ruak and Ayara Suna Chamunato Yababa Yazamuimo, Quanta, Sana Chamusuto, Sui Hakuri, Dangota, Sasuni Meganes, Samunta Moon, Easy Ningare, Su Yankee Napping, Camimuni Megan and the Zamuni Mugrum Quatia. The Garden Wooden Cannon. Say gawo ganso yana zo ne tare da mu yana gadin mu to su yaran shi suna na bayan mu su tuna ne mai itatuwan da zasu hura wuta su yi abinci kuma ba su aje makamin su fa suna aiki tare da makamin su ne to ne su hantan din sun gulloma shi o ganso a bayaka kai kami ya hankara sai su ka daga shi da binga to su da suna bayan mu har Akai Sunzo Sun Harbeni, the Binida, Anna Sun Kremon, Onan Han, Yanzumana Aiki. No man deny a guanum. I'll soon kill her and the washer, Gary Sun Kira Sun Che, Tunda Anzan Kasha Mutanusu, to Barangan in the Zandoka, one nun and Panuguanum Zangani, Kumahaka, Sunja Sun Che, Yamun and Panuguan and the Shan. In one outstation that called Pavu, when the same thing happened. When they enter them in the bush again, so they now run and escape almost 13 people. One person was with them. The person could not have the, the strength to, to be with them, to walk through where they are going. Almost seven days they were walking. So when it reached now, they now shoot that the, the other one that doesn't have the strength to deal with them. They now shoot him and then call them that they should go and take the, the, the person that the person is dead. Our crew ventured into deserted villages such as Bavun and Yerwa. As soon as the few brave souls who dared to return to harvest their abandoned crops caught sight of us, they scattered in fear and trauma. These deeply affected individuals were still haunted by the prospects of being caught again. The victims hesitated to speak openly about their experiences. We managed to interview a few of them, their voices tinted with fear and trepidation. When I die, I will die. I will die. I will die. I will die. Mujamu <laughs> The milk, the fellas, the solar, have we had the one? So now she had that in. I have no money. 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 I have no mutane kuma guda biyu sun kashe mamu to abin da ya sa muke mamanta da wannan gari 
Dami aka kashe mamu mutane guda uku shi ya sa mun ji tsoro dami saboda na gaba niman na kai hanya niman na shiga daji an kai ni daji da yaro na da kuma yaron matana gidan mu mun guda uku da gidan gidan wasu kuma haka ga itan anan da an kai ta an biya kuli when questioned about the government awareness of their plight, both the chief and Father Ilimi acknowledged the intervention of the local area council of Kuji, which has pledged support in the form of motorbikes for joint security and vigilante groups. <laughs> She secretary and she ma vigilante ne yazo ya ga mun chairman na ku je yayi musu alkawarin mashi na guda 20 kuma ina gan jiya ko shikarin jiya yazo ya ga mun an ka mushi mashi na goma sababi ku so aran guda goma abinda ita chairman gwamnati na ku je ra council abinda ya tamaka ma muna a wannan gari kenan kuma ya ce shi bai biri ba zai ci gaba da tamakawa if the police is aware, then I would say government is aware. Uh, we have uh, maybe perhaps four policemen that work in Gaube. No police station. I don't know where they stay. But they have just thrown them in as they go. So that's where they, they so, but on Sundays too, we see patrol vehicles. And sometimes in the Gaube, that is the district headquarters, to some extent, yes. Security presence, you could see once in a while. But I've told you about the villages that are unaccessible. So we don't even expect the police to go there. Because I go there for masses myself. I come down and go through the water, come down, climb a car, go down go to the water. The farthest out station is like two hours, 20 minutes from Gaube. And that is called Angwandadi. Uh, if you're going to Angwandadi, you drive from here to Dibe. Not the Dibe, drive from here to Chebimango, which is about one hour. So in Chebimango, you park your car because the road is no longer accessible. Normally I park my car here, I drive, I, I, I climb a bike. Then you sit on bike for like one hour, 20 minutes, crossing three rivers. You come down and enter the water, and climb bike and go. To another river, you come down and enter the water. That is in Kasi district. So you yourself will know for sure that policemen will not go through that stress. So if you find yourself in that kind of community, or should they come to you for advice, you tell them the truth. If they are way they can, even if it means paying ransom to the bandits. The, the church is against paying ransom. But I really don't know how to tell my parishioners who live in those places not to pay ransom. The police can only assess that place to helicopter, which has never happened. Father Ilimi passionately laments how the situation has profoundly impacted his pastoral work and the lives of his parishioners. When questioned about the church's involvement in providing security and succor, he offers his perspective. I called the bishop, I briefed him. The bishop is fully briefed about what was going on. And from time to time, I still update him about the situation on ground. About a month, they kidnapped 10 and killed 8 at uh, Dibe, not far from where the parish is. It's, trackable, it's a trackable distance. So I told the bishop that when he said I should write a report about the kidnappings that have taken place, a detailed report. So I had to write a report about those places, the names of the people, in their, their phone numbers I would have given. But I told the bishop, if you want, I'll link you up with those people. You come and interview them, those who escaped. Of course, those who died, we cannot talk about them. But those who escaped from the camp of the adopters came back with their stories about what happened. So a detailed report was given. Names of the villages, the date and the time they attacked, the number of people that were adopted, the number of those that were killed and those who survived, the names of those who survived. And they were willing to give me their phone numbers. But uh, we keep that, we reserve that for the Archbishop. The Chief of Garbi reveals the obstacle he faces in addressing banditry, including villagers who serve as informers. Despite these challenges, communal efforts are underway to enhance security and protect the community. 
magana abu da yake ci muna tuwa akwai da wanda muna da challenges a wannan community na farko wanda suna shiga suna yi wannan ta'adi kanda muka ji labar an ci akwai barawa ma ciki wannan ina ka muna matsala a gari cin bayan gari mu mu rasa yadda wannan abu za a biyo shi amma dai kamar yadda wannan abu ya fara haka sai mun zo mu ya an gari kuma mun tara kai mu muka ce to mu zo mu yi ma kai mu aiki duk wanda yana da hannu a cikin wannan abu in bai fita wannan aiki ba to shine muka sani tun a wannan lokaci yadda muka yi wannan abu haka sai muka gan kaman akwai sauki if you say what is my advice my passion as i will tell my advice to the people of gabobe district so that they are my parishioners or they are not they so trust in god as a first advice the second one is a unity speak with one voice we have people who are sell out even in the community they give information to the bandits but if the community should come up together all the villages to speak with one voice and united to say we want to see an end of this menace it will surely happen if they team up with one voice because the people need information even for their come for the attack one of the catkis serving on the Saint Stephen the Matthias Catholic Church in Gaube acknowledges the vulnerability of the oppressed and the perception that the church is a target due to its perceived wealth he emphasizes the urgent need for intervention and offers insights into the way forward for pastoral work in the area if this things happen our priest is not living eh peacefully he wants to stay with his own parishioners but due to that uh uh bandits and all this he cannot be able to con con conduct his own uh his work even to visit people he cannot because the attacket for those uh, bandits and kidnappers is mainly in the catholic church and then they will come they will kidnap father and then take him to the bush and it is affecting uh, the church like this place is that uh, been locked down and that is uh, pavu and yelwa there's no any there's no any service or, or mass there because people have run away and leave the church even there are some things that uh, they have in the church but they don't know whether they are they are around or they have not around so the people are even to go to church they are scared i know i know our faith is not so strong that some people will say that uh, let me go on sunday and have mass with the priest and then to uh, tell my uh, god his own problems but they look at it like as as the faith is not so strong so also their faith is dying the faith of the church and the parish is dying like uh, like during the time the, this house station how many months now they have not redeemed there they have not bring sunday collection so it affect the life of the priest so it is there that he used to get when he get that one then he would give us some st uh, stepping so that to buy or omo and wash our uniform so it has affecting us really in the midst of turmoil reverend father jeremiah elimi continues his tireless efforts moving from house to house often enduring hours of travel to reach distant villages he offers solace and guidance as the chief of gabi and the resident community join forces to overcome the darkness the journey towards restoring peace and security is underway.